But what does it mean to prove the correctness of a program? How do you do that? We start from the standpoint of a specification. So here's a program that computes factorial. Actually, I haven't given you the body of the function, but I have been given you its specification. That specification has a post condition in it. And as I've been teaching you this semester, the way I prefer to write these kinds of post conditions is as equalities. An equality between the function output and some other description of it, which usually is a mixture of English and mathematics, describing how the output is related to the input. Well, our correctness proofs are going to be based on equality between expressions, much like how our specifications have been based on that notion of equality. Now, it's really hard to reason about equality between code and English. Like, how do you know that a piece of OCaml code actually correctly implements some English language sentence? That's a really hard problem. We're not going to tackle that. What's easier is to reason about equality between two pieces of code. So as we go along, we'll see ways of treating one piece of code as the specification and another piece of code as the implementation. But right away, what that means is we need a way to think about equality between expressions, equality between pieces of code. Now, I'm not asking here about OCaml's Boolean equality. That's not the notion that I have in mind when I write this equals sign. Rather, I'm asking about when two pieces of code are equal. So here's an example that helps us think about that. Is 41 plus 1 equal, as a piece of code, to 42? There's at least a couple different answers we could give to that question. One is the syntactic answer. These syntactically are not the same pieces of code. You could represent them as trees, for example, as you learned in 2110 to represent um, Java expressions as trees. Well, the tree containing a node with plus and then subchildren 41 and 1, that's clearly not the same tree as 42. So syntactically, these are not the same. But semantically, they both evaluate to the same value. That is the notion of equality on code that I have in mind here. Two pieces of code are equal if they evaluate to the same value. Now, that was for a fairly simple ex uh, expression. Let's look at a slightly more complicated expression. What about functions? Here are two versions of the identity function. Is fun x arrow x equal? to fun y arrow y? Well, once more, syntactically, the answer has to be no, because there are two different variable names in use here, x and y. Semantically, that's a little harder of a question to answer, because what does it mean for functions to evaluate to the same thing? We don't really have a crisp answer to that yet. Well, there is an answer to it. And it is that both functions will always evaluate to the same value when passed the same input. Or in other words, for all values v, if you take fun x arrow x and apply that to v, you get v. Likewise, if you take fun y arrow y and apply that to v, you get v. So for all values, the two functions produce the same output. That is a notion of equality on functions that is called extensionality. Extensionality is well known from mathematical logic. You might or might not have encountered it before. But that is the notion of equality we will use on functions. So two expressions, e and e prime, are equal if they evaluate to the same value. Now, there is some fine print here that I have to give as a caveat, but I don't want to focus on it. Um, these two expressions must be well-typed. We're not going to think about badly typed expressions. They must be pure in the sense that I talked about before, and they must be total, which is to say they must terminate uh, and not raise exceptions.